Hey y'all, it's Destiny and welcome back or welcome to Destiny Reacts. And as you can see, yes, CJ Fool has hit 9 million subscribers. I'm so happy for him. He has been trying to hit this goal for so long and finally he is here. I believe it's because he has been posting shorts and that is what made him get to 9 million. People are really loving the shorts that he's been posting on his YouTube. Now he also posted a long video and he was having fun with the twins. But before that, he shows us that in Kamari's room, there is a broken window. But before we get into that, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post a new video. Crazy, that's outside. That's outside. That's not inside. It's trying to come inside. That's because y'all was screaming so loud. No, no, no. Y'all was here like, that? Who is 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 that? You guys are crazy, man. <gasps> Never have I ever seen nothing like that. Talk about so we live on the golf course. They need That's to learn how to golf. Now you, you, you gotta be so many balls in the backyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. The of course, CJ is going to try and blame Kamari for the broken window. But if you really want to know what happened, I did post a video about CJ Snapchat, and in that video, he did talk about how golf balls have been hitting his house, and that is the reason why his windows are getting broken. I just went out here from like here, and this is where the ball came from. Like literally, like through my window, right here. Like here. look at all that glass. It looks so bad. Like look at all that glass on the floor, bro. Like, dang, like look at the golf ball. Like, he just rolled. Ooh, he just rolled all the way over here. Look at his ball. <laughs> look, the ball hit the glass so hard he's peeling and stuff. Like he's chipping and stuff, bro. Maybe living in a mansion on a golf course wasn't such a great idea. But yeah, a lot of people been saying, CJ, why you haven't posted? Well, that's because my video with the NFL, and I thought I had been cartoned by the NFL. I thought I'd been whitelisted, able to post the NFL footage. I guess Andy thought the same thing, because he inserted a clip from Fox News of the Raiders scoring a touchdown. And we already had the original footage from the game, which we got a pass for, but we got in trouble by the Fox clip, man. So thanks to Andy, that video got me in trouble, and that's why I had to take another freaking break. Strike two! Damn! Yes, you heard that right. CJ got another strike. This is his second strike. He got a strike because he posted some videos about the Raiders game that came from Fox News and they striked him. This is really surprising. I didn't know you can get a strike for that. That's kind of crazy. So that is why he hasn't been able to post lately. Sid, or what you're using right now because you forgot to show us. Oh, okay. Some Creole, something Creole. She got some Old Bay. So like she said, let's only use a little bit of that. She's still going, oh, oh. I know she ain't got the sneeze. At least she covered her nose though. Uh-uh, she sneezed two times. I'm not eating none of that. I already know oh, three times. I know I wasn't going to eat none Kamari cooked, but now I'm definitely not eating none she cooked. She got the black pepper, and once again, she forgot to show us what she's using. And, uh, yeah, she said, wait, one second, so let's see what she got, man. She's she going to come out with some random stuff. She don't even know what she want. Look, she over there looking confused. Uh-oh. Oh, salt? All right, she got some sea salt. She covered her nose again, barely. Going back to the cat. Don't you just love having CJ do a voiceover and Kamari is cooking? I thought it was so funny, so I definitely had to show y'all that part. It was funny, it was entertaining, and I love seeing CJ and Kamari come together and do videos. I didn't understand or know what I actually like to do for myself. I only know what I like to do for my kids and the people around me. And that could be a good thing, but it's actually not. I need to know what I like to do. Like, cooking. Y'all already know this by now, but I went to school for cooking, but somehow stopped cooking because I got too comfortable. Now, what I mean by getting too comfortable is, I've been in a relationship pretty much the last decade of my life, and I haven't really, I haven't really had to do much when it came to like home things, things at home, you know, taking care of the house, besides financially, of course. I've been a provider, I've been a security, I've been a caretaker, but a lot of things that I really like to do don't got nothing to do with none of that. I like cooking and decorating and, and being creative and seeing how cool I can make things look, and, and I haven't been able to do that for a while. Don't y'all just love the way that CJ can look back at his life and realize that he could be doing something better? He takes accountability for him being too comfortable and not doing the things that he used to love to do. Once again, we see CJ being accountable for his own actions, being too comfortable, and now he's trying to change and do better. Charlene could never. So some of you parents out there that's going through what I'm going through and we have a lack of interest in taking care of ourselves, but more interest in taking care of others around us, we need to worry about ourselves sometimes too. I should use a glass plate. But um, I'm only saying that because, you know, these kids, they grow up and they forget everything, man. I mean, like my life wasn't that good growing up. I can remember some good, I can remember some bad, but one thing I do not remember is everything. 
No one can sit here and lie and say they remember everything from their childhood. So my kid and even her friends might not remember how halfway nice I used to be. When I say used to be, I mean now. Um, when they grow up, because that's just one of the things that kids take for granted. You know, I heard them saying all day yesterday, it don't matter, you rich anyway. I'm like, y'all don't understand anything about money and it's partially my fault because I haven't really been teaching them. I've been only giving and giving and giving and giving. Once again, here is another example of CJ taking accountability for not teaching his children and other children around him that money does not grow on trees. Yes, he has a lot of money. Yes, he is rich. And yes, he gives y'all a lot of the things that y'all want. But he does work hard for his money. I don't know about y'all, but it seemed like after CJ was away from Charlene for this amount of time, he's able to reflect and see where he went wrong and try to make the situation better. He's realized that he spent so much of his time taking care of other people and not really thinking about himself. This man took care of somebody else's kids for so many years before he had his own with Charlene and he forgot to continue to do the things that he loves to do, which is cooking, decorating, all of the things that he said in this video. This is the difference between Charlene and CJ. Charlene will never get on a video and say, you know what, I did wrong, I need to do better. It's always somebody else did to her, somebody else did something to her, somebody else, it's always somebody else. One person takes accountability and the other person just blames everybody for their misfortunes in life. To many, but a big portion of the reason why I always do everything for my kid is because I wasn't always there for her. I was like a summertime holiday dad that always got my kid during the summertime, Christmas and birthdays and stuff like that, but I didn't have her 100% of the time. So deep down inside, I mean, this could be wrong, but I kind of felt like I, I needed to show and prove to her that she mattered the most to me. With everything that has gone on with him and Nike, I feel like CJ has never forgiven himself for not being there for Kamari. Not being there when she was very young, until she was about five years old. And even when he got back into her life, he was still taking care of other people's children more than he was doing for his own child. CJ has to learn to forgive himself for that so that he doesn't continue to spoil Kamari in a way that could make her act out. Yes, he can still spoil her, but he also must put his foot down when it is time. He shouldn't feel bad anymore that he wasn't in her life earlier because he's there right now. Come on, dear. It's your turn. Yeah. You're gonna be careful, okay? Cooking is very dangerous and important. So watch yourself, kid. Oh, shoot! That's... What? Oh, heck no, she is savage. <laughs> Lexi don't know how to cook, all right? You gotta flip softer, softly. Oh my God! She, she she's doo-doo at this, I'm not a lie there. Yeah, she's doo-doo at this. So you want me to teach you? Yeah, let's Cause she's clearly, it. let me show you there, look. <laughs> let me see, put your hand on it. Look, watch that, get it? Flip it. Wow. Simple, hey. Was that simple? <laughs> How cute was that? Lexi, CJ, and Cordea are in the kitchen cooking pancakes, of course. Lexi kind of messes up, but I think it's because she is holding Cordea, so obviously she's trying to do both at the same time. I know a lot of people thought Lexi wasn't around anymore, but yes, she is still with CJ and she is around the kids. She's playing with the horse. Jump in the, jump in the ball pit, CJ. Dang, dang, you came fast. <laughs> Isn't it so cute how the twins stick together? Baby CJ was not going to jump in that ball pit until his twin Cordea came and did it with him. They are so adorable. Isn't it so crazy how Charlene is trying to make people believe that there are people out here that hate the twins? I wish she would stop trying to push how people feel about her onto her children. It has nothing to do with them. Y'all have got to let me know what you think about this video. What do you think about what CJ said about being a parent and how he takes care of everybody else? Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.